This is question 10 from the, third, the second probability and stats revision quiz, and it's quite a simple one to finish once you get your head around it. So it says, in a case of time-terminated lifestyle, uh, lifetime testing, 20 failures are observed in a total operation time, t equals 112.2 hours. Assume that they're independent exponential with mean mu, that means we can use a chi-square test, and h naught is mu is less than 7, h1 mu is sorry, H naught mu is 7, H1 mu is less than 7 at 5% significance level, meaning, um, I, well, we'll see what that means in a minute. Which of the following is the crit critical region of the test? So let's just have a look at what the table says. So the chi-square distribution table, in fact, let's have a look at the chi-square distribution table. So we're looking for a 5% significance table uh, level. Uh, before we go to the table, the other thing we'll just quickly say is that if you look at equation number 78 for the chi-square test, you'll see that the for a time-terminated region, we need um, degrees of freedom 2 outside of R plus 1. So it's going to be 20 plus 1 is 21 times 2 is 42 degrees of freedom. Um, so it's yeah, 42 degrees of freedom, we need a 5% significance level. Let's have a look at the table. Okay, here we are. So we've got um, degrees of freedom down the side here. You'll see we only come up, we've got 40 here. We don't have um, any small enough increments to be able to get our 42. So we're going to need to determine which one of these that we need, and it's actually going to be a little bit higher than that. Um, I think we'll it'll turn out here that we don't need to go to Excel to find it because it's going to be pretty obvious. So note here in the top, um, the little diagram tells you where alpha is. So the shaded region is for the alpha value. So if we've got a less than value, which we're trying to find, which in this case we are, we want um, the we want the mu, mu to be less than seven. So that means we're going to want this region in here. So we actually want 1 minus alpha, or 0.95. So if we come down to 0.95 and 40 degrees of freedom, uh, we, for that value is 26.509, which, don't be fooled, actually is one of our examples. One one of our answers here, 26.509. But in actual fact, we know that we don't want 40 degrees of freedom, we want 42 degrees of freedom. So we're actually going to want the one that's a little bit higher than that, 28.4144, and uh, we're going to take their word for it that if we go to Excel, that that's going to be the exact number. Um, if you used alpha, this one, you'd actually be getting, um, for, for this one, you'd be using it for a uh, 55.758 is actually the value for. Um, 40 degrees of freedom for greater than mu greater than 7 and this one is for 42 degrees of freedom so this would this would be the correct answer if we were looking for mu greater than 7 and it was a failure terminated test not a time terminated test this would be the correct answer if we were looking for mu greater than 7 for a time terminated test which means we have the slightly higher degrees of freedom 42 instead of 40 um, this is our correct answer if it was as a, a smaller than, so correct here, but if it was 40 degrees of freedom, so if it was a failure terminated lifetime test, so not the correct one in this case. And this is the correct one in our case, um, number one, that it's 42 degrees of freedom and uh, 0.05 for the significance level and less than, so, so this region here. 1 minus alpha. Hope that helps. Good luck with the next one.